Hey guys, Dan Meister and welcome back to Bomberman 94. This is part 3, world 3, and we're going to enter the sea world. I think it's called um, Slamming Sea, from what I remember correctly. Obviously it's in Japanese, so I can't read it, but you know. Okay, so we've got sort of weird starfish there. Pranty starfish. That's weird. The hell was that? Fucking fish in the foreground. Foreground fish. Give me some funky alliteration. Fucking foreground fish. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that took a while to sort of set up. But you can sort of do that with the remote control bombs again. You can really set, you can sort of set things up, which is cool. Right, so... Okay, so it's the bottom button. It's the B button on the gamepad. Yes, it is. It's the detonate button that, um... Alright, so what does this do, then? See, because I tried to kick it last time. I think... Does it kick blocks, or...? I actually have no idea what the um, function of this Louis is. Because I know what they do in Bombman 3. I know the pink one actually jumps over... Um, or can jump over things. It's actually a useful bloody Louis. This one doesn't seem to do much. I mean, it's, it's another hit, which is cool. Not really. See, look, now that's really trippy and weird. Can that, that stop? Probably won't. It's probably be a thing throughout this whole level. And I'd, I'd be at level relatively quickly. Like I said, you can sort of, um, you can really speed through these levels with the remote bombs and with um, the walk through walls power ups, which I haven't got yet. But you get the walk through walls power ups, the kick bombs, all those power ups. They tend, they do really speed up your gameplay. So you can actually beat this game relatively quickly as you go on through, um, as you go just going through the world. I actually quite like this music, it's kind of catchy. But as you can see, again, similar to Bomber 93, this, um... The art style is definitely nowhere near as advanced as, say, a Super Bomberman 1 or a Bomberman 2. But, it's sort of, um... I feel like they sort of sacrificed the um, graphics for, I think, just like the music, definitely. I think the music's definitely an improvement. But it, it sort of simplifies the game. I, I remember watching a video, um, so I was watching, not had any commentary in it, but I was watching Nintendo Complete do some of the Super Bomberman games. Um, and they were saying that, and he actually said the point that it sort of simplifies the game. But in a way, it's not a bad thing, because Bomberman is quite a simplistic game in itself. And I was like, yeah, I sort of get that. Not that Bomberman 1 or 2 are bad games, because they're not. Bomberman 2 is um, a really good game, as is the first one. Um, Super Bomberman, of course, I'm talking about. Super Bomberman! And, um... Ooh, line bombs. Alright, well, hang on, what's the button? Chip. Um... Alright, so uh, the X button. Oh, so there's two rooms in this one. Thank you, D-pad. That's the first time we've had a problem with that. The trusty D-pad that screwed me over in Bomberman 93. Back in this one. So again, I've got five minutes. So I've got a lot of time anyway to complete this. But you can sort of see the graphics. It's got that... Um, I mean, that's very similar to um, World 3 and Bombman 3, the Sea World in that one. It's got the sort of ripple effect. Although, I've said that the, um, the, like, the foreground fish is, are quite different. It's 
Stupid bubble gun firing douche switches. Okay. So it yeah, it's just eliminate everything in front of you. Oh nice, and now, now you give me a bloody invincibility. They always do that, I always get this like once I've beaten the bloody It's like when there's like two or three spaces left and there's no enemies. It's like, oh here's an invincibility jacket. You'll probably need it. Well I fucking won't now. God damn it. I always find that so <laughs> frustrating. I mean there's not really like it's I'm desperate desperately need of it, but Okay, three three. Stop trying to fire your bubbles through here, man. Quite, I am actually keeping my eyes out for walk for walls now. Because I should get it soon, I'd imagine. There we go, got both of them. Oh, nice! <laughs> I didn't realize I would do that. Wow, eight minutes. So this is probably like a three room level, I'd imagine. They do get to that point where you have multiple rooms. And this is like a multi screen, like a, a multi screen room. No, there you go, you're fucked. <laughs> I was just saying, like, there's no way you're getting out of this. Oh, hello, Nemo. Well, you're dead. <laughs> I found Nemo. He is no more. Yeah, I like this music. It's kind, kind of jazzy. Oh, come on. There you go. It's, my, it's honestly, it's just, sometimes it's, be it's better off just hacking things from a distance. Especially if they're just a pain in the arse to deal with. Ugh. I mean, not that I really needed a bomb, but... I actually don't know. Like, the thing is, what I do like about Bomb Man 2 is that, um... It tells you if you've got oh, how much flame power and how much and how many bombs you've got. And obviously the maximum there is nine. I'd actually don't even know the maximum in this game and I don't know if there is a ma well there probably is a maximum. They're usually using bomb man games, but Yeah, I don't know Ooh, X Life. But yeah, I don't even know what's left to collect necessarily like bomb and flame wise, but I definitely should have full flame and I tell you what, let me do I tell you what I'll do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's probably a, a highest. Then uh, top, the most I can lay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay, ten. That might so ten might be uh, the highest in this in this game. But uh, if I, if there's another bomb power up in this in this room, I'll try and um, test that. There's some more flame. Let me have a look at my flame too, because I think it went... Yeah, I think I'm on max flame now, but it doesn't go as far as it does in other games. Like, I don't think there's a full flame power up in this level, in this game. Okay, I've got another bomb, so can I lay 11? No. So 10's a maximum, so I've got a maximum amount of bombs now. I'm going to suicide just because I want to change my Louis. Alright, purple one. This is the one that jumps, isn't it? Every time, every time I test my shit out, what the fuck, oh my god, so fucking frustrating. I wasn't even, it's my fault because I wasn't being observant, but still, it's fucking infuriating. 
don't know why I'm picking these, but collecting these because I've already got every. Like I said, I'm already at max. I literally just proved I'm at max, and I'm like, I still I like to collect things. I don't even know what these are supposed to be pictures of. Oh, that's meant like a crab in this. That's oh, a mermaid. I saw a tail, and for a second I wasn't sure if it was a claw, but no, it's it's a mermaid. Oh man, so I'll see if I get four and one. Oh yeah, those electric guys I need to be super careful about. Because they're going to be really annoying. If anything, like, well, I mean, electric electric things underwater tend to be annoying anyway. But, ooh, heart, nice. I still wonder if there's a walk through walls power up. But um, yeah, anyway, like I was saying, it's actually I totally forgot what I was saying. Okay, that's that's cool. I just totally forgot what I was saying because I got put off by the fact I picked up a heart. Nice, well done, Daniel. Oh, piss off. Alright. Oh, there it is. Let me just wait till I kill this guy. Right, so now I can pretty much just... I can beat this game as quick as I wanted to. As I want to, to be fair. But I now I want to check for bloody Louie because I keep losing them. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Just fuck everything inside. That's my motto. Okay, screw the submarine guy. Oh my god. Can I, also, uh, can I just say how pissed off I am that I, I didn't complete my thought earlier and I totally forgot what it was. And now in editing, I'm going to have to just double check what my thought was. I'm going to finish it in a call out. I mean, I've already would have finished it in a call out, but... Actually, I don't know. I'm assuming. I don't know what future me is going to do. Depends what route future Daniel wants to go down. Yeah, because I don't care about score, so I don't care about picking up blocks. So technically, is there like a little hole in the ground there? Because I, I should die if I go over this. Bit. Oh, it's a big... Oh, crabs. Killer crabs. Make all the jokes you want. Oh, okay. Oh, I just have to get him from behind? Or do I just have to like, get him... ...whilst he's attacking? No, I have to get him from behind, I think. Oh, wow. Didn't realise he did that. So yeah, I don't want to get encased in a bubble. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, I think he's got a second... Yes. Damn it. Oh, Christ. Oh, he's really bubbly now. There we go. Nice. That got really um, dangerous towards the end. He was really firing a shitload of bubbles. They're really mean, these bosses, because they prevent you from doing the final puzzle. It's just they're like, come on, man. I'm just trying to save the world. Well, at least it's, good. it's cool that they don't actually have those really weird transition screens. 
in between each world. <laughs> like I did in the original game. Oh, like I did in Bomber 93. Anyway, next level will be the... Well, I think it's like a monster sort of scary theme world. So that'll be next video. See you guys then.